Hello everyone and welcome to Catalan. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of Catalan test apps and then I am going to show you how you can make use of it in your testing environment. Test automation is a familiar concept. It allows us to test early in the process, as often as we want, and anywhere we want in the pipeline. However, without orchestration, efficient DevOps are difficult to achieve. And that is why we have Catalan Test Apps, the first open and most comprehensive test orchestration platform that helps you eliminate bottlenecks, streamlines your DevOps, and provides you with actionable data-driven insights all in one place. Let's take a look and see how it works. In this demo, I will show you how to use Test Apps with Catalan Studio. Before we begin, there are a couple of things that you need to make sure you have already set up so we can continue working on this demo. The first thing is that you need an actual Catalan account so you can access Catalan test apps on your browser in the machine that you're working with. And also you have to have a running instance of Catalan Studio in your environment as well. Now I am going to go ahead and access Catalan Desktops using my account. And once I log in, you will see that I already have an organization going on. This is what you will see if you already have been using Catalan Desktop. In the case that you're new to this and you don't have an organization, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and create an organization. I already have some created, but let's go to the steps of creating a new one. Click on create an organization and just go ahead and type the name in here. Let's call this the Catalan Test Ops Demo Organization. And then we go ahead and click on create. And this is going to set, take us to create our first project. So now we're going to leave this uh, by default. And then the first project that we're going to create is called Catalan Test Ops uh, Video Project. We can go ahead and create a project and then we are good to go. We want to leave everything by default. So what I'm going to do is just click next and then we are going to go ahead and finish this process. Now I can go ahead and go to my organization. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any data that has been uploaded here. And that is what we're going to do in the second step. Now what we need to do is we're going to come here to Catalan Studio and make sure that we are connected to our test apps instance. For that, I'm going to go to the project settings and then hit on settings right here in the menu. And then we are going to navigate to Catalan test apps. Right now, because I have done this multiple times, I already have my credentials. In the case that this seems uh, it looks different to you, make sure that you click here in override authentication. Go ahead and put in the URL for uh, test apps and then use the same credentials that you're working with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fetch the organizations. So the latest organization that I created shows up, which is the Catalan demo here. So I'm going to click on that one and then I am going to also fetch the projects. This is going to refresh in the background and then it's going to pull the video project that I want to work with. So now what I want to do is just click apply and close and this is going to be good to go. So now we're ready to start creating a test case and a test suite. Now we're going to go ahead and create a test case and a test suite and see how we can interact with Catalan test apps. The first step is we need to go ahead and create a test suite here. And the reason for that is that you cannot upload only one test case to Catalan test apps. So we're going to go ahead and call this test Let's go ahead and click OK to save these. And then when that is ready, we are going to go ahead and go here and create the test case that we want to work with. Just create a new test case. Very simple. New test case demo. And we are going to save that as well. Very important. Now we need to go ahead and record the steps for the script that we want to create. And remember, it doesn't matter if you know how to code or not. This is very simple. What we're going to do is click on record web. This is going to open this dialog window where you can select the URL for the test environment that you want to work with. In this case, I already have this demo automatic catalan.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit record. This is going to open automatically an URL where the test environment is. And in this case is a, a healthcare service where I can go ahead and make an appointment. So let's get, let's go ahead and take some actions in here. I'm going to hit the make an appointment button. I'm going to try the John Doe username and password if I can type 
and the password is this is not a password and then we go ahead and type and click on login success so now we can go ahead and select the facility where we want to be seen uh, we also can apply for the hospital medicare or medicare doesn't matter then you can go ahead and select the date that you want to have an appointment and then you can say thank you now we're going to go ahead and take another action and book the appointment so everything went well here and then last but not least let's go back to the home page and see how it works everything seems to be working just fine when we are done recording the steps let's just go ahead and hit the stop button right here and you will see all the steps all the actions that we just take we just took now we're going to go ahead and save that script okay the, I'm getting a emerging a notification here because I already have some built-in information in there, but I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now we're good to go. In this case, you have it in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my test suite and I'm going to drag my test case in there. If we go back to Catalan desktops, you will see that we only have the project in there. There is nothing uh, already uploaded because we have not executed the test. We just re did the recording. So what we want to do now is I want to go ahead and execute this record or execute this test. And what is going to happen is going to go ahead and do it. It's going to run it on Chrome. In a few seconds, it's going to open a Chrome environment where it's going to go ahead and run all the steps. Once all the steps are executed, it's going to tell us that it's continuing running, it's preparing the report, and then it's going to upload this report to Catalan Desktops. All right. So while that happens, I can go back and let's go ahead and execute this a couple more times. But in this case, I am going to make it fail on purpose. So we can see the difference of how that looks in Catalan desktops. In this case, in my machine, I don't have Firefox installed. So this is going to actually fail once I try to execute it. So let's go ahead and run the same steps. Just select Firefox. This is going to try to open Firefox and that is where it's going to fail. And we're going to see here all the results. And it's telling me, hey, there is something going on. I can see the root cause. So it's going to go ahead and upload that report as well to Catalan desktops. And just for kicks, let's go ahead and run another one where it is actually going to um, go ahead and execute correctly. And here we go. Now this is uploading again to Catalan desktops. So in this case, let's go ahead and navigate to Catalan desktops and see what we have. Everything was updated here automatically. I didn't have to do anything manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and refresh my Catalan desktops and see that there is one test case that I was executed and there were three different executions that I had for that test, the, the test suite um, that I created. The first one was a success. The second one, remember, I told you I was going to make fail on purpose because I tried to open it on a, on a web browser that I don't have. And the second one and the third one actually executed successfully. So let's go ahead and take a look at this um, project. Let me click on that and see if we can dig deeper into what is going on. So we have here the information, three of them passed, or actually two of them passed out of three and one of them failed. We have the report here that is telling us exactly what is happening. It gave us, is giving us an overview of what is going on with your environment. Now let's go to reports and analytics and see if we can dig deeper into what is going on here. Something interesting about Catalan desktops is that your reports, or in this case, the data that you will see in this graph is you will see the newest test on the right, on the left hand side, and then the oldest ones you will see on the right hand side. Okay, so you can see what date it was executed, which one failed, which one didn't. It's going to also give you details on each one of these test executions, if uh, how many times it was executed, how many times it fails and passed, you, and you name it. If you want to see details on why is this failing or why is it succeeding, you can go here and click on the ID number. This is going to take you to the details of this test execution. So here you will see that it failed. You also can go ahead and take a look and see why it failed. So here you will see all the details about this test execution and it also will give you a log of what is going on. In that way, you don't have to dig through endless logs, log files to see exactly what is going on with your environment or why this is failing. And also to give you some detailed information about this, how this looks like if you have been running it for multiple days, I'm going to go to a, dif a different project that I have going on here and I actually have to switch, switch organizations. And in this case, I have one where I've been running a little bit more 
uh, more tests and you will see that I have here actually I had multiple ones that passed and failed and if I go to reports and analytics you will see more details about them so this is going to give you an insight a valuable insight of how is it that you are performing how are your tests performing what if certain days you have more failures that failures than others so you can go ahead and keep track of that you can go ahead and uh, take swift action on what is going on another cool thing about this is that not only you can go to the dashboard and see all these insights that you can take a uh, swift action on but also you can do test planning so you can go ahead and uh, plan all the tests that you want prior to your release and make sure that everything is running smoothly in your pipeline you also can manage your tests and as i mentioned just now you can go ahead and visit the reports and analytics and take a look at what is going on and also you can go ahead and navigate to configurations and see how can you integrate test ops with the rest of your environment so to give you a summary of what we just did, we made sure that we had an account with Catalan Test Apps. We also had a running environment of Catalan Studio. We created a test suite. We also created a test case, which we moved into the test suite and we executed that multiple times in Chrome and also Firefox. And we saw how that was uploaded to Catalan Test Apps because we also have here the configuration that we created uh, to integrate Catalan Test Apps with Catalan Studio where everything is going to get uploaded. Last but not least, we went here into Catalan Studio and took a look at how the insights are being built for you automatically. And also you can see details of what is going on with one of your tests and you can go ahead and do your planning, management, configuration and look at all the insights all in one place. I hope that you enjoyed this demo and please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye-bye.